Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V. And in this episode, Phantom and his good old party of monsters will be going north of Grand Vanya in order to make it to the Northern Tower in order to rescue Bianca. Will Phantom be able to pull off this rescue mission successfully? And who exactly will I meet on the top of the tower? You'll have to find out later on in the video, so without further ado, it is time to get into it. And as I said before, this ends Act 2, so buckle up. Over to the left, I remember there's like a pool. I think on the right there's also a pool that recovers HP and MP. But it's pointless. Well, I know to the left there's a pool. To the right might still be a separate area. I'm not sure, but anyway, here we go. <clears throat> They're gonna prevent me at all costs. So you got a Le Leonor and the Orc King. You do that, mate. You do that. So here he has a. Uh... Oh, these get two attacks, these lions. They do in three. You get them in three, they do in four. Because I've seen a few of the different versions of these enemies in four as well. Could be in six. Don't know yet. Anyway, I remember this is where, yep, the weird sword things stick out the ground. Fantastic. I think this way is just a load of crap, if my memory serves me. Oh, and Band of Sacrifice. Lovely jubbly. This, this is fantastic. Walking into spikes over and over again. And yep, it's going to wrap round up to this point. Then I can finally... Then I can finally... Then I... No, I can't. I'm trapped. It. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That is ridiculous. Be careful. Don't want to fall down. Right, and now... I'll drop down here. Because I want to go on the flight of stairs over that side. It's not what I wanted, but never mind. Well then. Oh dear me. This dungeon's just annoying to get through. That is all. Devil Dancer and, as I said, the Shield Hippos are normal enemies here. <laughs> I see you stand on guard, don't bother me. Shouldn't have gone out of your guard. Wasn't a good idea, mate. Anyway, the boss battle is going to be so satisfying, I can't wait. But anyway. I'd rather take out Hawkman. No, I know you get the Hawks in uh, Dragon Quest 2, because you get them in the Ocean. But that is where I uh, originally stopped when I did 2, because like, there was a lack of direction. And I don't know if it was on guard or not, it may have been. And obviously critical hits break through that, but... You know. Bang. Down you go. And just to show you if you drop down here. 
straight back to there. So there's no need to go there. Going out here will take me to the stairs here. I don't know if I want to go here or not yet. I mean, this just takes me to the bloody right side area, but I was about to say, I remember one of them being a mimic anyway. Seen this so many times now, so I'm just going to war cry and, you know, boom, 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 boom. Rinse and repeat. Doing about 50 damage per turn now, though, instead of 40. Because it's about 40-ish before, I think. But anyway. Do do do. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, if someone can get a critical hit, it will just speed things up even more. Oh no, he remained calm. That's not good. I mean, robbing a bit of magic isn't too bad. It could be worse. Thank God. And of course, with every mimic, you find a mimi, mimi, a mimi medal. No, a mini medal. Look, I found a magic water. Fragrance bag, don't need it. See so, yep, when it gets to the beginning of Act 3, I'm gonna have to start selling all that crap. Clearly, anyway. Just don't curse anybody, please. That'll do. There's no way I can remove a curse, you see. What happen if I drop down the hole here? Wait, I have to do it, right? Hey. I don't understand. There's no secret passageway or something, I'm sure there isn't. Where am I supposed to go that? No, because I thought this was a dead end. Do you know what? I don't remember, but anyway, that area there is from that from the left side on the well, I don't know if you get there from the bottom or not, but I'm in confusion. Clearly, you don't get there. I mean, I don't bloody remember, but still. Oh, for God's sake, can't even get out now. Yes, I'm him. Ooh. Anyway, I'm, I do not remember this. I don't think I took these teleportals before. But, you know. The gale is obviously whoosh. If you want to get technical about it. Take that mini medal. Lovely jubbly. Yep. No more mimics, please. A wizard's robe. That'll be useful, definitely. I 
Your wizard's robe won't be useful yet, but... <laughs> Don't need it. It's a demon jar, no! It's going to be so strong, it's going to kill me straight away. No! I mean, well, I mean, it does love to dodge. So, how? Really? Stop missing, man. Bang. 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 Die dead. There we go. Simple. It wasn't hard, was it? No. Yeah, as I said, I don't remember this area. Whatsoever. This is all new to me. So here's another Leonor. Leonardo DiCaprio, haha, <laughs> so funny. Sit down, mate. I see, so that's what that right side is. So, I've explored the right side. Now the left side... Takes you to this. And everybody's fully healed. Now, go over to this way. I vaguely remember what's over here, but he's going to tell me something useful. I believe. Actually, no. I think you can you can drop down here from a trap or something like that. So, you know. Me, I'm waiting here for my younger brother to get here. I heard that there's some awesome treasure hidden in the tower somewhere. Yep. There is. I know I should probably get back to the ascension of the tower, shouldn't I now? Bum 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 bum. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. You do that, mate. I'm in no rush to get this dungeon done, to be honest. This is the only dungeon I'll be doing today. I mean, as long as the long ass cutscenes and stuff that start off Act 3, you know, don't take too long. I mean, I don't remember how long, but it shouldn't be ridiculous. Not by any means. See, I like how for some parts you can loop around in. But anyway, now I need to actually remember where you properly go. Because I was kind of stuck from that point, anyway. Oh, damn it. It's only, uh... It's only Phantom that gets... Uh... Fully healed. That'll do. Now we go. Right now, I'll climb back up. Probably not the quickest way to do it, but whatever. Anyway, back to. Is he drawing a board? See, I don't think I ever went to the right way, because to be honest, I didn't realise that once you did the dungeon, you'd get a cutscene that would just take you automatically out of the dungeon, because, like, the events that happen, you just. You know, it's one of those dungeons. Like. Because obviously you get some dungeons, it's like, oh, you do this, and then you're back at the castle, and the king's like, well done for doing this task for me. Well, it's not like that, but... You're just out of the dungeon, but when you defeat the boss. But I'm not actually going to say where. Where I end up. That would be spoilers, but you know. Anyway. Lovely jubbly. Take me up. And obviously we saw, we know what that bit is to the right, but is there a different bit to the left, or is that just the second teleportal? I'm not sure. If this doesn't take you to the same place, that other teleportal could also take me somewhere else. Dun, 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 dun,
Let's have a look, shall we? Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, it's the same place. Which is fair enough. Bam. Now, the big question, where do I go? I mean, I remember that there's a boulder puzzle. Oh, uh, we have to, like, line up boulders to, to stop the fire traps from actually hurting you. Because, like, these statues spill out fire. But, you know. We haven't even got to, like, the more difficult enemies yet, either. But, you know. When I get towards the top areas, that will happen. But anyway. I am missing something so obvious here. Hey, Why do I not remember where I need to go? I'm confused. Mm. Maybe dropping at a certain point of this will drop me somewhere else. Nope. Drop me in the same goddamn place. There's nothing on this side. Because that's... Oh, oh, for God's sake. Yep, this is the way to go. I should have came here second, not first. But I thought, you know, the right side was the way to go. But I forgot. So never mind. Oh, you moron. Why would you do such a thing? How can you miss against an enemy like this? Not a good idea. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. The double miss. Come on, Brongo. Just one shot it. Put it out his misery. No, look. Three enemies give me 555 five, five experience. That makes no sense. It's not possible. It's not a multiple of three. Anyway, that gap behind there takes you to that guy. Um, anyway. Look at that, the double kill. Smart. Because you see, their, their AI is going to go for the one that weren't shielding if one of them weren't. And obviously, attacking that dancer with Pierre guaranteed that kill of that. And, you know, the possibility of killing a shield hippo. So, rather jubbly. You can shield up as much as you want. Now you're asleep. How can you shield up if you're asleep? Eh? Now you're dead. Enemies like that are, are pointless because it's so easy to exploit them. Alright, so you've got the. We can roll out the magic carpet over here. Oh no, not yet. That's at the top bit. Well, one of the top bits. And a zombie mail. Of course it's cursed, you could probably guess that, but... You bloody magic water, get out of it. Ding. Here we go. Two shield hippos, lovely jubbly. One of them may not be on guard. No, it looks like they're both on guard then. That's lovely, that is. Doo-doo, doo-doo. See, look, as soon as you go out of guard, they're dead anyway, so what's the point in guarding? Just delaying the inevitable. 
That is all they are doing. I would show you what the statue trap does, but I'm gonna like be nearly dead if I show it, so I'd rather not. And ah, there's the magic carpet up there, you roll it across. Uh. So you see that fire? Not good. Avoid the fire. Go across. Avoid the fire. Go across. Avoid the fire. Everybody's fine. Now, up in the top area is the barrel. With the boulder puzzle, sorry, not barrel puzzle. But you see all this here? Basically, I need to knock down boulders from up here. Knock them onto that floor so I can use the boulders on the floor below to uh, avoid the traps. So, if, but because of the way you move boulders, if you're not directly next to it, you'll move it in a janky way. But some of them are bum crags. You'll know them under a different name, like Grenade or whatever. But the English translation was a bomb crag for all of the uh, non-Western release originals. So, you know, the English dub version of Free, they're called bomb crags. But that's just the way they are, anyway. There's a chest over here, right? See, I, the problem I made is I remembered this top area, but forgot bits of the other area, anyway. Oh, fantastic. You do that, mate. It's gonna, it's gonna speed it up. Well, not, but, you know. That damage is so disgusting. Like, Barongo is too good sometimes. Whoever doesn't shield up is dead. Good night, Vienna. So you see, he should he should have taken advantage and attacked me. Like if they both don't shield at the same time, yeah, one of them's gonna go, but one of them will get an attack on me. It's, it's logical, but you know, enemy AI isn't always good. Anyway, found an Yggdrasil leaf. Get rid of Pierre's magic water. Oh, lovely job, boy. Increase his strength even more, shall we? Which is just disgusting. Even an increase of one is, is disgusting enough. Good. I mean, I was expecting there to be a small medal in here, but I was expecting it to be in the mouth of a mimic, and I had to defeat it first, but no. Nope. That's lovely, job, boy. See, I don't know if I've got enough boulders or not, or if I want to go to the bottom of this floor. Like, the, well, the bottom... Right, so obviously I've got to wrap back round to get to uh, the stairs, but I'll go down from where the stairs are to see if there's anything else worth getting. But yeah, I am close to the end now. Um, but yeah, just, just prepare for plot twist galore, that's all I'm going to say. Be prepared for your mind to be blown. Anyway. See, I could just uh, drop straight down here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to speed this up, just because I'm seeing what's over here. So basically, you want to use one boulder at a time. Uh, like block off the statues completely, but the but now you get two different um, now you get two different statues on the same line. You know. Uh, so you have to, if you block off one and go, go next to that one you've blocked off, the other one still has the range to hurt you. See, so yeah, it is annoying. You can either just, you know, 
tank through it and heal up afterwards. Or try and be smart about it. Totally up to the player. But this should be enough. There's no reason for this not to be enough. Next, I've got to, no. I've got to do this again now. So there's no point doing it like that. Might as well just come up here, bring one more boulder along with me. Right. So push that out of the way there. It can never be stuck the way it's designed though, which is nice. You know, push that push that one more. Bang, nice. You see that mess over there? Jesus Christ. That is horrible. Bang. Right, so that bit's blocked off. Um I need three more. Uh, there's two more as of this one though, so. Damn it, I've pushed this one. Too far across. I'm good. That's going to hurt. I should have. Well, I didn't push it far enough at first. So you know, it's gonna do that. Speed it up. I mean, did you not get battles in this bit? I thought you did. Up you go. There we go. Block that off. Ow. that not work? I thought that would work to be honest but never mind try this again then I need to make sure it's fully blocked off then Right, so that's blocked. I think is that enough then? I might be able to get away with just walking on that side. I'm not sure because you know I've always been a bit weird with this puzzle. Anyway, let me try it at least. Nice, nice. <whistles> Jesus Christ. Right, I'm nearly at the top, and I think I've fully looted the whole place. I think I have. Hope, well, obviously, I'll try and get as much as possible. Anyway, see, I can roll out the red carpet over here. It's not red, but, you know. Don't think I can interact with that yet. Ah, yes, here we go. So, let's read the notice. Corridor switch number Juan. I got a battle on this tile before, and I feel like this may be scripted or it's just random because you, you get a battle after you press the switch as well. Anyway, good. Yeah, you slash fiercely, you bitch. Ooh, got a weird itch right on the palm of my hand. There we go. Yep, I will pull it. Bring it on. So you'll recognise this Mamu as a what's his name, Jurgen. In Dragon Quest Eleven, there's also a boss in the form of this Jurgen. But he's just known as Mamu here. You also get the pink version that you get in 11 in this. Uh, anyway. 
The only offensive move there was the confused spell and it missed, so lovely jubbly. So now I've pressed the switch, should be able to go down. And the carpet will be laid for me. Take this teleporter. Now I remember this one. I remember pressing this switch. One of these could be a mimic. Yep. Fantastic. See, once you get up to this part of the tower, though, you, you have to commit to it. You don't want to go back down after doing that puzzle. Because it's just annoying. Especially if you have to set it all up again. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Right now I'll do it. Bring it on, bitch. I don't know what it said about Barongo because it all went fast with the text. But I feel like the same text came up with Pierre, but he died. Unless Barongo was, a, you know, was going to die. I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah, this is just RNG based. I have to hope it just keeps on cowering. Do -do -do -do. See, that's not good. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. So, of course, War Cry is used in um, Dragon Quest Nine. Obviously, I did that before this for so goddamn long. Well, I mean, it lasted three months for God's sake. Uh, and obviously, Jasmine, my fighter, my martial artist. Uh, used war cry and some bosses like Gorm Hog I would try and uh, well it was guaranteed to cow them in fear at least a special move one anyway <sighs> don't need the magic water anyway I think that's it for mimics now I don't think there's any more unless you still get them in act 3 with some of the other weaker characters, I don't bloody know. But anyway, I don't actually know if that first lever has to be pressed or not. I think they both do. But, you know. So if I turn off switch one, you, you get... You get pushed across, I believe. Because I think I, I was like, I'll leave that one. Beauty of it being an emulator. It's not what you want either. Didn't even mean to do that, to be honest. But, uh, I don't remember, to be honest. But I don't want that battle either. I mean, do I even, well, do I even want lever 2 pressed? I don't remember. Um, so if I turn 2 off and have 1 back on. Would that make things different? Hmm. I don't bloody know. Oh, for God's sake. Just let me get through. The... Bloody multiple puzzles in the same dungeon is annoying. I didn't. Str I didn't end up struggling with this. I. I got across to that bit first try. I mean, this is it. Once I get across here, it's the boss. I, I still don't want to say who the boss is. You know the boss, that's all I'll say, but... Oh, just get a bloody cross, man. It's simple. Get a cross. Right, so... One is on. Let me, t let me turn this one off.
go across from here. Because I don't bloody know. Like this. Ugh. Why is this happening? Thank you, you see? God damn it. Right, let's get up here. Oh, come on, I'm nearly there. I'm a hair breath away. It's gonna speed this up. Can't be asked with the shield hippos. Thirty-five minutes, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this dungeon is ridiculous. As I said already. I would say it's the longest dungeon, but I think the final dungeon is longer. Uh, just because there's just so much to it. All I'll say is there's a tower, then there's an outside bit, then you go back inside the tower, you go into like a castle, and then you get the outside bit, and then final boss, boom, boom, boom. Anyway, here's the dirty, disgusted Chancellor. I, I was wrong. I should never have made a deal with creatures. And now, Granvania will be. I beg you, forgive Lord Fankham. Ugh. No forgiveness for you. So yes, I forgot to say there are two mini bosses before you face Big Bad Man himself. Well, it's not Big Bad Man, but it's one of Big Bad Man's minions. Yes, yeah, so you've made it this far of you. Well, your journey ends here. For it. if you wish to continue forth, it'll be of my dead body. Die. So this is well, it's extra level enemies. So it's an orc level twenty. Dun 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 I think the other one's a wyvern. I remember the orc, but I think the other one's a wyvern. Anyway, yep, you do that, mate. I've got a wonderful spell known as Healer ready to use. You do that, mate, I don't care. Do 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 you see, if you just keep on attacking Phantom, then that means there's no extra MP being used. Because you're just using... You're just using that, aren't you? Anyway, come on. I want you to die now. Die now. I mean, I know you've got a lot of HP, but bloody hell. I didn't even bother using any of the spells like Increase or anything. Cause I didn't think I'd have to, but... You know... Are you going to die yet? Why are you attacking Brongo now? Come on, die. Thank you. Jesus Christ, you don't even get much experience for it either. Look at that, disgusting. Pointless. Ugh, I am defeated. Ugh. I think you'll find out who it is. Uh, once you defeat this second uh, minion, um, but it's one of three bosses. Uh, well, I'll give you a hint now. You see all three bosses together. You, well, you've seen them all together. Anyway, yep, it is a Vivan. Hehehe, <laughs> what a delicious little morsel you are. That woman that passed through just now looked delectable too. But Lord Jarmy claimed her. There we go. It's Jarmy, it's the, it's Jima's dirty little horse that I'll enjoy killing. Claimed her before me, so I guess I'll just have to console myself with you. <laughs> Shut your mouth, pagan. But why the level 35? God damn. Oh, I haven't got the uh, one where you increase everybody's yet. That's annoying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, there's no point in creaking defense, especially when it, this scrub uses magic. I mean, it even gets through to bloody uh, Pierre, this magic. Do, 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 do. Well, apart from that. Boo, boo. Boo, boo. Boo, do, do, do. I use one heal all with Pierre, but Phantom's going to have to do it. Because he needs to keep his MP. There's a bit of sizzle. 
Obviously, that's too strong to be Sizz. So that's got to be Sizzle at least. I don't think... I don't know if you get third stage magic like a sizzle, a frizz, a crack, or them lot. I mean, you don't know because it doesn't have those names, but you know. That's it, mate. You do that. There he goes with sizzle again. Too dangerous to do that. I'm going to heal all. The Brungu. You do that, mate. What a waste of turn. Thank you. Bloody hell. You're, you're pretty tough, but you're no match for Master Jarmy. <laughs> yeah, bitch, bring it on. I'm coming for you, Jarmy. There's Bianca. And of course, there's the stupid little horse, Jarmy. What a douchebag he is. Well, he's a douchebag just because he's consoled with bloody Jima, and I hate Jima, so you know. Right. The final battle of Act 2. Slowly starting to get the vengeance part here by getting one of the three. Now, now, you shouldn't rush off to die so rashly. You should say at least say goodbye to the wife you love so much. Phantom, you did come for me, but maybe it would have been better if you hadn't come. Using the Chancellor to kidnap me, it was all a ploy to lure you here. And after killing you, they would take the place of the Chancellor instead. Enough of this pathetic conversation. So you're a king, eh? And where are your loyal subjects? What of your obligation to them? Instead, you care of nothing but your own selfish pursuits. Righteous king or foolish child, whatever you are, you will not live to rule another day. Come, you can die together. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I can't do anything yet. I'll just have to uh, increase defense, but yeah, I'm not going to get through to him yet. That's not a spoiler, that's just, you know, just the way it is. But yeah, he knows bloody Frizzle, which is annoying. He also knows Kaswoosh. Wahaha! I am invincible. No one can harm me. Die, Phantom. Stop! Stop, Jarmy. Bianca's body was surrounded by light. That light! The light pierces Jarmy's barrier. Now, Phantom. I think everybody's been... thingy, didn't they? Take a deep breath. Bum, 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 bum. That's it, you do that, mate. <whistles> Bang! Smack. Just keep on doing that, I don't care. I don't care, Jarmy. I'm going to kill you, and that'll be one of the three to get revenge on. Because Phantom wants to kill all of you douchebags that hurt his father. You're number one on the list. So yeah, as you can see, Brongo is the MVP here. You know, just take a deep breath. Bam. 
He could probably deal between 50 to 60 damage and get close to the amount he deals with two separate attacks anyway, but it's best to take a deep breath and then bam. Well done. He's supposed to be one of Juma's two loyal subjects, are you? And he's supposed to be his two top cronies, are you? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Could have fooled me. Bam. Sit down, mate. Pathetic. One well, actually expected to be quite that easy, but you know. <laughs> I didn't remember, but there we go. There's one of them down. And now this is going to become very important, so watch carefully. No, how? Th that light. That woman. The blood of the legendary. So, the blood of the legendary hero still thrives. What, me? The blood of... Yes, and soon you will give birth to the legendary hero of old. You see, this is the turning point. The Order of Light, you know, are going to try and stop Phantom and Bianca from producing the legendary hero. But they are not aware that they already have. Keep that in mind. But that will never happen. It must not happen. By the Dark God's will. So this is his way of stopping them. Phantom was changed into stone. And so is Bianca. Wahaha! <laughs> you can watch the end of the world from your stony graves, fools. So by Bianca protecting Spike and Isabella, the Order of Light, when they captured them, were not aware of um, the birth of Legendary Hero. But which one, Spike or Isabella, could indeed be the Legendary Hero? Hmm, I wonder. Anyway. Hey, what the hell? They said there was treasure in this mouldy old place, but I don't see shit. Wow, look at these statues. They're so lifelike. Big brother, I think we can sell these statues to someone for a lot of money. Hey, you're right. Check out the jugs on the girl. I mean, that's just perverted, whatever. I call dibs on the statue of the big kitten. Come on, let's go. Big brother, wait. Doesn't anyone have the slightest idea where King Phantom is? We have agents all over the lands, my lord, but still. And that Chancellor, where could he have gone to? What the hell is going on here? Lord, Lord Ogyron, someone has reported seeing the King in a shrine to the far north. What? Someone has seen him? Yes, sire. We must leave for the north at once. No stone must be left unturned. You see what they did there? I mean... They... Anyway, every lead, no matter how small, must be followed. Now go, begin your search. Spike and Isabella. And f poor kids without their parents. King Phantom, Queen Bianca, I pray for your safety. They're not going to hear you. They're, they're, they're turned to stone, I'm afraid. Oh, Lord Spike, Lady Isabella, what's the matter? So yeah, at this point, I was like, hmm, Jarmy said that, but one of these two could be... The legendary hero. Anyway... Come now, children. I've never seen you two cry so loud before. Maybe the children can sense that something has befallen their parents. Silence. Don't say such things. You're right. I'm sure those two are safe. So, Lord Spike, Lady Isabella, you have nothing to cry about, little ones. Your mother and father will return safely. Of this I am sure. There. Don't cry now. Step right up. Here's today's first item and what a steal it is. <laughs> hey, bring it out. Yes, sir. Now, isn't it a beaut, ladies and gentlemen? You won't find finer craftsmanship anywhere else. Bidding starts at a thousand gold. A thousand gold? Do I hear a thousand gold? Come on, Phantom and Bianca are both priceless. One to hundred. I got a one to hundred. One to hundred gold. Any other offers? Fifteen hundred. You got taste, geezer. We're up to fifteen hundred. I'm not going to say it that many times. Sixteen hundred. All right, let's keep the ball rolling. We've got sixteen hundred. If you don't hurry up and bid, someone else will. This is grade A worksmanship, for folks. 2,000. 2,000 sold for 2,000 gold. You, sir, are the lucky owner of this glorious masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you, 2,000 gold. Have a nice day. So now I'm going to be going to the bottom right corner of the map. I know that because when I, get, when I went there before. Anyway, thanks for coming, everyone. So that's it for now. So long, adios. But they're not selling Bianca. 
Mm, big brother, but you didn't sell the other statue. Ah, yeah, well, this one here I've got plans for. Well, off I go. At this point, I was a bit creeped out. I was like, what are you doing? Wait for me. And now a lot of time is going to pass. So this is how you know it's jumping from one act to another as well. Because there's going to be another time jump. But anyway. Master, welcome home, sire. Mistress, your husband has come home. Welcome home, love. Gigo, look who's here. Your papa's home. I'm not going to bother doing baby noises. Hmm, husband, what's that statue you've got with you? You like it? It's a beauty, ain't it? We've got... I'm going to say guy go. We've got to go being born and all. I figured we'd need some extra luck. And here he is. Oh, love. All you think of is guy go. So where is my gift? Hmm? Well, it... Um... Wahaha, <laughs> darling. Will you ever forgive me? Master, you must be tired. Shall I pour something cold for you to drink? Please, mistress. You too? Husband, dearest, quickly. Come see. What is all this screaming about, woman? Look, oh look, Geigo is. Geigo is. Soon, Geigo, he's walking. Oh, that's wonderful, son. Come on, Geigo, show daddy how you walk. So yeah, you get to see this family as as they all grow up. Which is quite kind of nice, but you know, Phantom is kind of a statue, but you know. Oh, Geigo, you're so good at walking now. Darling, what's the matter? You're so quiet all of a sudden. It's it's nothing. I just heard a lot of disturbing rumours lately. I just hope that by the time Gigo grows up... Don't worry, dearest. We've only had the best of luck since you brought that statue. Oh, it must have been a year ago now. Ah, oh, yes, I suppose you're right. It doesn't stop at a year, it keeps on going. And now he's a little kid. Oh, Geigo, if you hurry too much, you'll fall, you silly boy. Yay, yay. G Gigo, quickly, come over to me. Who are you guys, huh? Gigo. <laughs> Is this the kid? Well, whatever. If we're wrong, then we've got ourselves another slave, if we're right one. So, uh, obviously they think this kid is the legendary hero. So, like with Phantom, when he was seven, so when he was 20, he's now 20, well, he would have been like, I don't know, 27, 28 by this point, but he's still technically 20 because he's stone. But basically, him like, what, nearly 20 years ago now, obviously he was made a slave. Um... But now this kid, they think he might be the legendary hero. Uh, so they're going to take him. And if he if he does, turns out not to be, they'll just use him as another slave to build that stupid temple. Which will nearly be finished by this point. Anyway. Then all the better for us. You know how much child slaves go for these days. No, no, please leave our child be. Oh dear. What's going on? What's all the shouting about? Husband, Gigo, Gigo, some monsters, they took him away. What? Has it been a month already? We still have no idea where our deal Gigo is. Master, Cloud, you're back. Well, what news? Did you find out anything about Gigo? Oh, Master, well, I... I could find nothing. I I see. Thank you, Cloud. Damn it all. Good luck, statue, my foot. Take this and this and... Master, please, calm down. See, Master, you always forget your blood pressure. Come, Master, you should lie down. Aye, yes. So the order of light are just getting worse and worse. And obviously all these years that have passed, I think now it's eight years. So 18 years 
have passed since Papa's died. So you had the ten years, well, I guess more. You had the ten years of him being a slave. And you had about a year or two in Act 2, because obviously you had to have those nine months where Bianca was pregnant as well. And now you've had another further eight, I think it's a further eight years. So it's been about 20 years since Papas' death, so the Order of Light have been at it, I mean, for longer than 20 years. But since Papas' death, obviously, they've been uh, trying to rule the world for 20 years now. And obviously they're getting way too close to taking over the world now. Yeah, they're just showing the year pass in, through the weather. Phantom's all alone as a statue. And there's not really much I can say as you see this to be honest but those two characters I mentioned um, you can probably guess who those two characters are as soon as has now been uh, like an eight-year time jump so they'll be old enough now uh, to fight and the years passed and here is Spike and Elisabella with Sancho it's Phantom's kiddies what what do you want Good afternoon, sir. We are merely travellers. We bring you no harm, I promise. What a magnificent statue you have. What say you, sir? Will you please lend me this statue? <clears throat> that stupid statue, lend it. You can have it. Just get it out of my sight. Oh, really? Thank you. How kind you are. Lady Isabella? Okay, Uncle Sancho. I just have to use this staff, right? So this is the staff of Storos. Um, or Stolos staff, depending on the version. It was used and referenced in Dragon Quest IX. Obviously, if you paid attention when I showed off the weapons and stuff, you know of that. But anyway, there we go. Magical light illuminated the statue. Phantom turned back to flesh. So yeah, Phantom and Isabella are about the same age as Phantom at the beginning of the game now. So, you know. Whoa, a statue turned into a human. It is you, oh, King Phantom, it really is you. We've searched so long. Do you remember me, Lord Phantom? I am your humble servant, Sancho. Oh, you're alive, oh, young master. Come, children, this is your father. Wow, you're my father. We've travelled all over the world to find you, you know. Hello, father, my name is Isabella. It's the name you and mother gave me. I've heard a lot about you from Uncle Sancho. And I learned about mother as well. Oh yeah, and we learned that the world's in trouble too. Hey daddy, will you come help us go find and save mama? And after that, will you go with us to save the world? Come now children, you shouldn't inundate your father with so much at once. Let's return to Gran Varnia for now, your father needs time to rest. Lazy Isabella? Yes sir? The news that their king had safely returned spread quickly to the Grand Var Varnians. Some expressed their joy by shedding tears, some held each other, but all were glad of his return. Hooray for King Phantom! A festival to commemorate the return of the king carried on throughout the night and in the morning. Good morning, I see that your rest last night was very refreshing. If you will follow me, Lord Ajiran awaits your presence. So again he had to be king while uh, he waited, but anyway... Daddy, you're going to go find Mama, right? And then you're going to beat up the bad guys who are mean to the world, right? Well, can we go along too? I heard the entire story from Uncle Sancho. When you were about our age, you went off on a grand adventure with Grandpa Pappas. So we've decided that it's only fair that we go with you as well. Father, wait, hurry along, Spike. Okay. Yeah, man. So I'm not going to use them yet. I will be using them by the time we get to Jima. Oh, I mean, I might as well. You know, people like Jima I'm going after now. And I will kill them for taking my wife. You know, ah, good. You've finally woken up, have you, Phantom? And don't tell me you've already forgotten me. It's me, a gyron. Of course, you have been a statue for eight years now. So I understand if you forget a second there. Anyhow, King Phantom, 
On our search for you, my lord, we chanced upon none other than your mother's birthplace. Though your father was rather hated amongst them, times are different and old wounds have healed. You are Martha's child, perhaps to you they can, and they will, offer some assistance. Lady Martha's birthplace is just about right here. So there is L Heaven. Underneath there you see a bit of water. I will eventually get the Magma Staff which allows me to go there and I'll get to a sunken castle. Uh, but before then you have to go L Heaven and then it all connects. And then if you look over to the far left, you see those two green dots in between the mountains and the brown rock range. The, the one at the bottom is that volcano but above that you'll see grasslands. There is a uh, fairy forest there that apparently takes you to a fairy village but is it the same fairy village phantom saw at seven years old i wonder and then you've got that middle continent right there which is gonna serve a lot of purpose um and i believe it gets me a key item i think uh it might even get me the uh magma staff and if you look on the bottom left corner there is a tower there that will uh, allow me to uh get a certain will not character to join me but reawaken something that's going to be very helpful i'm just running down some parts of act three now and you see and in that middle continent is where you get the uh palace that i was a slave for for 10 years where all those mountains are the gray bits uh the mountains on the tip top are there uh so yeah they're all well actually there's one more up on the top middle continent which is obviously where you spent most of the beginning of the game in um there's one dungeon there that's optional, but it's very helpful to go to. But anyway, that's just a bit of a rundown of Act 3. There's a bit more than that, but still. Anyway. Young Master, I mean King Phantom. Lord of Gyron has prepared a ship for you to use on your journey. And he's even called for the monster caretaker to set up shop on the second floor of the tavern. Oh yes, and if you want to speak to Rowida, she'll arrange it so you can take some of your palace friends with you on your journey. I hope you will allow me to travel with you every so often. I may have aged a little, but I'll take down any young buck who dare to tell me and I'm old to my face. So yeah, I'm going to get uh, Sancho from Marida's Tavern. Of course, I'm going to get Brongo and Pierre because I'm not going to have Spike and Isabella yet. They need to go up a bit more yet. Um, I'm going to have probably Curie with me just because Curie can use magic whenever I'm in the overworld. Um, so before I get Sancho, of course, you know. Sign up. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Actually, yes, it is. That's what I want to do. That's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> so yeah, Grand Varney is going to be like the main settlement now. Um, but I'll be, I'll be uh, going back to that desert place now to get the Zenithium Helm. Uh, I'll be going back to uh, thingy. Well, I forgot the name of the castle now, where you get obviously uh, Prince Henry. Um, he gives you a key item. I mean, there's a lot of key items I I'll be getting, but you know. Add to party, Sancho. Yep, there we go. No, there we go. So of course, if you've noticed, I haven't got the magic key yet. I will be getting that though uh, when I defeat uh, Bjorn the Behemoth, or at least that's what he was named uh, in the remake. He's an optional boss, but he needs to be defeated to even you know get the stuff that will help. But anyway, obviously. As you saw on the world map, I will be going to El Heaven, but before I do that, there are a few places I want to explore. So, uh, in next episode, I'm going to be going to the uh, desert place, what's it called? Tele... <laughs> Telepore, or whatever it's called, to get the Zenithian Helm. And that reminds me, hang on. Someone, I've got, someone has got the Zenithian Shield. Someone's supposed to have the Zenithian shield, I should say. Doo, 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 doo. But I can sort that out. Um, 
But anyway, as I said, in the next episode I'll be going around a few different areas before I start to make my way to L Heaven. But now, basically, Act 3 is that point in the game where you've unlocked the rest of the world map. And for some things, there's a certain order you can do them in. But there are some things you don't want to do yet, like Beyond the Behemoths. You want to leave that to one of the last things you do before you do the final few dungeons. Um, and then there's just a few bits and bobs here and there. So as I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow when I start Act 3 properly. And I'll see you later for continuation of Uncharted 3 on the crushing difficulty. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, all I'll say to you now is goodbye and goodnight.